The Medici family were the owners of one of the most beautiful buildings in all of Rome, the fabulous Villa Medici. For many years, the center of social life and elegance, a place of intrigues of every kind, and the seat of the embassy of Tuscany in Rome, in the 18th century, the new rulers of Tuscany, the Lorraines, took little interest in the residents. The Grand Duke Pietro Leopoldo decided to bring the collections that were on display there to Florence. For this occasion, the architect Gaspare Maria Paoletti designed, in neoclassical style, the large room in which you are standing, that since then has held a group of sculptures originating from the Roman villa. The sculptures represent the tragic story of Niobe, who, wife of the King of Thebes, Amphion, gave birth to seven sons and seven daughters. She was so proud of them that she derided the goddess Latona, who had given Zeus only two children, the twins Apollo and Diana. Latona, furious, then ordered her children to kill the offspring of Niobe. The sculptural group consists of twelve nuclei. At the center of the right wall stands a large statue of Niobe in the act of trying to protect her youngest daughter while aligned along the other walls are the statues of eleven of her children, depicted as they try in vain to escape the arrows shot from the sky. In this room there are also displayed two large canvases by Rubens, representing Henry IV at the Battle of Ivry, and the triumphal entry of Henry IV into Paris. The works were to have been part of a series of paintings that the widow of Henry, Maria de' Medici, had commissioned from the Flemish painter to celebrate her husband and were to have decorated her Palais du Luxembourg in Paris. But the bad luck of the Queen, who died poor and in exile, prevented the completion of the project, and the only two paintings executed were eventually purchased by Grand Duke Cosimo III and brought to Florence, rolled inside huge tubes.